Hi guys, Servus and hello world. Um, this is my follow-up video about the underwear integration into OpenGrid. Uh, OpenGrid um, I talked about last time. Uh, today we will be focusing only on the OpenGrid Lite. If you missed my OpenGrid introduction, uh, you can click here to get the video. When I created OpenGrid, the main issue I wanted to solve is uh, the issue I had using underwear. And the issue I had is that underwear uses a lot of space um, before it actually gives you a room where your cables go. This is due to the fact that, of course, the, the multiboard that is used is uh, 6.4 millimeters thick. And then you have the base of the uh, channel. Um, and this together is about one centimeter of space that you have could have used otherwise. So you have about one centimeter of, of space that is just there to hold the channels. And I didn't like that. So let's begin with me placing a normal underwear channel. This is a normal underwear channel uh, created by the uh, very, very neat generator that Andy created, Blackjack Duck created, uh, for uh, underwear. The one thing that I did change is um, I changed the uh, grid size to be 28 millimeters because I need this to be compatible with uh, the open grid system. But that's it. You change the grid size and everything works like a charm. Um, then I create, of course, those um, underwear connector snaps. Uh, those are pretty much the same as what is there for the normal uh, multiboard based underwear. Uh, they can be snapped in here. They have this uh, little screw on top and um, you can just uh, screw this into your underwear base and uh, if you have this screwed in you can ju then just snap it onto your board. So this basically just works. A huge shout out to Andy for creating those generators. Those are pretty much ingenious. I like those a lot and um, it just worked. I was so happy that it just worked. But um, if you look at this, you see that there is a lot of space that is basically lost. And I thought, couldn't I use everything um, of the channel? So I created something like a channel that is about the same height. So this one here is about the same height, uh, but it just misses this, this base here. It snaps onto the, the open grid system directly. So if you look at this, uh, you will notice that, let's see, you will notice that you have so much more room for your cables and it is so much easier to attach and deattach everything to and from your board. That's when I started creating kind of my own open grid underwear version. So let's get everything off here again. And uh, let's see what you can do with the, the open grid underwear system. Um, of course, you have those L channels that you can use to get things around corners. You can use multiple of those. Um, there are different sizes uh, that you can use. And uh, I think those look pretty neat. And then you have um, different versions of channels to change which row things are in. So uh, the one is the straight version and the one the other one is uh, the one that uh, uses kind of a, a round look. Um, and normally I would suggest, I, I personally I like the round version a lot more because I think it looks nicer. But uh, if you put any cable in here, it depends on the cable you have, whether it's nice to be used or not. So this cable is, is um, pretty soft. So it's easy to get this in there. And uh, this cable here is a hard, harder one, a sturdy one, and it doesn't want to go in here. Uh, you can do it if you, if you pre-bend it, so something like that. Uh, this works, but it's still not as nice. Um, so if you have a more sturdy cable, I would also always suggest to go with the straight version because you don't have to bend it that much and it's a little bit easier to to, to use them. So besides this, 
um, we have those channels. We have things like this T-like channel. Of course, there's a T channel as well. This one here allows for more flexibility. Uh, like for example, you could directly attach this one here. Um, we have things like um, bridges in here. Um, we have things like this crazy connector here, which is only the T uh, channel, let's call it head, uh, that you could can put somewhere, uh, which allows you to attach things from, from all of the different sides. We have uh, an open channel concept, which uh, is if you need air inside the channels or if you want to, to have cables coming out here. Um, this is a lot harder to attach because normally what you do is, I'll show you this with a longer channel. Normally what you do to attach a channel is, uh, you push it in on one side and then you, you squeeze it a little bit and push in the other side. So it's pretty easy to get this in. Also, if you want to remove it, you basically just squeeze it from the sides and you can get it off easily, which isn't the case if you just pull. Um, and with those, it's it's way harder to, to squeeze the channel together because if I squeeze in here, um, it, it won't squeeze on all the sides. It, it's still possible, uh, it still works, but it's a little bit harder to be used. Um, and then, of course, you can do all crazy, crazy things like, for example, um, have those channels. Uh, this is actually what I've done here. So uh, in my office, I used uh, those channels to have um, kind of a nice lightning using an LED strip in here. Um, and I just printed the, the upper part in white. And that under where it doesn't have is, are those. Those are actually uh, snaps. Um, so you, you have something like your base again, but it's inside the board. This can make sense if it's hard to, to get cables through your channel, but it has another neat feature. And this is you could use um, zip ties with this. So if you have your cable, um, let's get this in here. So you, you can use it like this, your cable there, and then have this tied to this tile, let's do this, of course you need to, where did I put it, you need to remove the end of the zip tie, um, and this now allows you to attach the cable directly to the board, and then of course you can just add your channel like you normally would on top of that. Um, I used this a lot to get the electrics done here, uh, because with this way, uh, you can kind of uh, give the cable some direction and then just add uh, this on top. Um, the other thing that I created as um, those snaps are, are a little bit weaker than what Katie created uh, is uh, a small tire that kind of keeps it in place. So you push this in like like so, you push it in. Um, and then uh, you can still push in the normal channel here, uh, but this is now pretty much um, locked in place. If you remove it, you will remove it with the tile. And this also allows you to see how it works. You have those uh, snaps in here that are pushing the channel outwards, uh, which means it grips to the, the board way, way um, stronger. This is just the beginning. Um, I've showed you a lot of parts now, um, but of course there are more. Uh, this is just um, what I printed to to uh, give you a little bit of an idea on how the uh, underwear system for open grid works. And that's all. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like to try. Uh, open grid yourself. I hope you see the benefits of using the light board instead of a full multi board um, because it's so much easier to print, it's so much faster to print, it uses so much less material and it will still hold everything you want related to um, the open grid system in place, pretty nice. If it doesn't, you're able to add one of those 
um, lock snag, snaps uh, that uh, will push the open grid uh, mounting um, into the board more nicely. And with this, uh, it's I would say it's even stronger than than the original uh, underwear wear. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you liked the video. And uh, next time I will be talking about how uh, we can incorporate uh, different systems into OpenGrid as well. Have a nice day uh, and see you soon. Bye!